After nearly a month of canvassing and a recount, Montgomery County's Board of Elections has officially amended the primary election results in the county executive race. It's been six weeks. Cheyenne Corin covers Montgomery County for us. She has more on what this means for Maryland's most populous county. That's right. After six days of recounting more than 140,000 ballots, it's official. Incumbent Mark Elvridge is the Democratic nominee for a county executive. I do feel pretty confident that I will pull this off. Um, but, you know, we'll discuss partying and celebrating once somebody tells us we have something to party and celebrate for. That was County Executive Mark Elridge just hours before the recount results were in that showed he won the Democratic primary against David Blair by just 32 votes. This rematch was even closer than it was in 2018 when Elridge beat Blair by only 77 votes. In a statement to our newsroom, Blair wrote that he called Elridge to wish him the best over the next four years. But Elridge still has to face Republican Reardon Sullivan in November. Sullivan says he plans to grab many Blair supporters as they have similar positions on the economy, public safety, and also education. If you look at it, 60% of the voters in the Democratic primary did not support Mark Elridge. What that means is that um, there's opportunity there for, for someone with a clear common sense message to maybe capture some of the Democratic voters. In this deep blue county, the winner of the Democratic nomination typically wins the general election, but Sullivan says he feels optimistic. I think there's a path forward, so I really wouldn't necessarily put all my eggs in the Mark Elridge basket just yet. Reporting in Montgomery County, Maryland, I'm Cheyenne Curran for DC News Now.